Okay, so today for our science lesson, we are going to talk about where seeds happen, how seeds happen, what flowers are. So, do any of you know where seeds come from or how seeds are made? From other flowers that have bloomed. And from flowers that have bloomed. Okay, good. That's true. Anyone um, else? From the from, female flower. From the female. There are female parts of a flower and there are male parts of a flower. So let's talk about the parts of a flower. Okay, and using your flower too, you can you can kind of follow along. Let's start with the green section. What are these? Does anybody know the names of these? Oh, those are stemming. Look at your flower. Look Steams. inside your flower. Can you find that part of the flower? They're anthers. Oh my god. Are you cheating? Are you looking at your work? No, nope. okay. No, they're the anthers. This, yeah, this part up here is called the anther. Okay, what's what's the anther on top of? The filament. The filament. 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 Good. Sorry. Okay, and and what is You're looking at your What body. is no, I'm not. What is on the anther? The anther. Don't put your face in the flower. Now you have pollen all over your face. You can go to the bathroom and go. And oh, Bryson's stop. eating his flower. <laughs> stop, please. Okay, what is on top of the anther? On top of the anther? I told you. Oh. The, on top of the anther is the sigma. <laughs> well, sigma. these two these two parts together are... Stigma. Not the, the anther. The, the stigma. The stamen. Sorry, it's a stamen. I'm sorry. Which is the male. This is the sign for male. Stamen. Ooh. Which is the male. Okay, let's go over here. And talk about the female part. <laughs> what is the what are what is uh, this part up here called? That, oh, that's the um, that's the stigma. The mouth hole. Stigma. That's a stigma. stigma. <laughs> no, I just stigma. said the stigma, right? A... Okay, and what's this part right up here? Oh, the, wait, what? That's the oh, ovary. That, no, that's the petal. Ovary. Oh. No. No. Yeah, it's the ovary. It's a receipt. This that's right here is the. Ovary. Yeah, that's the ovary, right? You gotta be. Um, and what do these look like inside the ovary? Um. Oh, those are those are seeds. Seeds. Those, seeds. those are the beginning of seeds, right? Okay. And then what's this up here called? The oh oh style style. Good. Okay, and then <coughs> uh, surrounding all of these parts. <coughs> Covering it, protecting it, but also doing what? Smell your flower. Why does your flower smell so good? What well, do you think that the, does? It's the, the petal scent. They're petals. What? Why do you think petals smell so good? Because the uh, they're uh, eating their flowers. I'm not eating it. Obvious. No, um, please don't eat them. The, the petal is a filament. <laughs> why do you think a flower? The what does smell sweet? What is the flower trying to attract? Bees. bees. So bees would like the smell of pollinators. Honey. When flowers are white like this, they attract night pollinators, and they're actually more pungent at night. So what are some night pollinators? This one. Bats. Moths. Right. <gasps> yeah. Moths. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. And then there's little. If you look at the bottom of your flower, there's little protective covering. The bottom and keeping all the parts together. Oh. Does anybody know what that's called? <laughs> sepal. The receipt. The sepal. No, and then that's the this right here, this part is it's the, the receptacle. receptacle. Mm. Okay, the so that E looks like a these three parts right here the stigma, the style, the ovary, these are all the female parts. Oh, wait, this is female. I don't know. Female. Okay. And they are called the pistil. The pistil. Oh, I heard of the pistil. Okay, the stamen is the male part and the pistil is the female part. <laughs> yes. That's your second warning. What? Stop, please. I haven't. Stop. Uh, wait, he was um, eating the flower. You're going to be dismissed at your third warning. Okay, okay so we are going to today do a flower dissection. 
Um, Ooh, and I, everyone funny. should have a worksheet. Everyone should have a roll of tape. Everyone should have a flower and a pencil. Oh, this is... Um, so the first, um, and if you look at here, this, this is going to have a box for each of the different things in there. So, um, number one, you will write, I asked you not to touch your flowers. Oh, it just fell off. Until I tell you to touch your flowers. So the first thing you're going to do is, uh, one of the parts that we talked about was petals. So you're going to say petals, you're going to say how many, and you're going to tell me what the petal does. Okay. It oh. does the So we're gonna we're gonna start with the petals. You are not gonna be able to tape them all on here, so I gave you a blank um, piece of paper where you can tape your parts of the flower. So let's start with petals. Let's start with petals. So take your petals off your plants. Take my petals off. Shh, please be quiet. Take your petals off the plant. Put them on your your blank piece of paper. Bobby, can you please do what I'm asking? We're taking the petals off the plant. We're putting them on. Yeah, Mom, don't call it a plant. It's a flower. It's a beautiful flower. Because Bodhi's part plant. What? Put them on the paper, please. What are you, Clark? Uh, you don't need to be talking. Just be doing, please. I already did. And then what do we take Two, off? Three. What's all this water stuff five, coming off six. the top? Okay, mine has Mom, six petals. What's mine stuff has six the top Hold on, we're going to talk about it. But first, you're going to mark in your worksheet petals. How many? I have six. What's the function of the petals? Please stop. Put that down, please. I don't want pollen everywhere. Bobby, your face is yellow. I think that's the best way. No. So what is the function of the petals? So in your worksheet, the number one thing you're going to write, petals. Let me see your writing. Yeah. On your worksheet, your second sheet of your worksheet. Yeah. So petals, Bryson, petals. Get your second page of your worksheet. What's your function? Petals. P E T A L S. And then what? And then -E. you're going to write how many? P E and then what? T A L S. Petals. Mine has six. I don't know how many yours had. Mine has six. Mine has six. Okay, so six. then the next part, we are going to take the anther and filament. Oh, wait. And Where's we're going to place them on our sheet. Oh, Mine has... One, two, three. Mine had six, I think. I don't know where my other part went. Where's the anthers? Oh, here it is. Yeah. Mine has six anthers and filaments, too. I need, like, no Okay. So, mine has six anthers. You're going to do anthers and filaments separately on your worksheet. Mine keep falling off. That's okay. They can, they can, you can tape them separately on your piece of paper if you want. What are they anthers? Are, they anthers are separate piece of paper. The anthers are the part on yeah, top of the filament that hold the pollen. Okay, so what is the function of a filament? The filament is there to hold up the anther. What is the function of the anther? To, to pollen. hold the pollen, right? There's pollen inside them? Yep. And I just got it all over my paper. Okay, and then oh, now we have the female part. So if you break this off, the female. we have this part. And if you touch the top of it, it's kind of sticky, right? No. Can you yeah. feel it? Can yeah. you feel the top oh, it's pretty of sticky. the stigma? It's kind of sticky. Why? Why? Why is it sticky? Stop, buddy. What's it gonna what's it gonna what's it trying to get on top of it? No, I yeah. actually took it off. Bees. There's, there's slime coming off it. Bees are gonna do what? Oh, look at it. Oh, they're gonna yeah. come from flower to flower and they're gonna put what? Pollen. Pollen. So it's sticky because it wants that pollen from those pollinators. Yeah, they're slime. And then yeah. once it happens, it's kind of slimy, huh? It's kind of sticky. And also, I accidentally took it off my... That's um, okay. That's okay because we're going to look at the bottom of this part. Whoa, next anyway. look at okay. the shape. Okay, put it down. 
So this is sticky. It's going to attract the pollen from the pollinators, right, Bobby? And it's going to collect on here, right? And then come down into the ovary. And the pollen is what's going to help those ovaries produce those seeds. So once this flower dies, then what will be left? Mm. New seeds. Seeds to help the plant spread new plants, right? Yeah. Okay, so you can take this part off and you can glue tape it on your page. I haven't now. taped nothing. And if you want to take your fingernails, Ew, um, or you can Wait, tap tape it. it where? Tape it where? Tape it to your blank, um, your blank sheet. Do we and then you can take your fingernails and really try to gently slice open this part, this bigger part, and look inside, and you might be able to see some. Seeds. You might not. Mine, you can't really see what's inside. But some might be farther <gasps> along in the process. I can see them. You can see them? Okay, so tape that part too. That is the ovary. Okay? So the function of the stigma is to attract the pollen. The function of the style is to move the pollen down the into the ovary. The function of the ovary is to what? Wait, where are we finding the seed? The function of the ovary is what? To make what? Pollen. Pollen. No. The no. pollen goes to the stigma. Stop and down. So what does the ovary make? Um, it makes big. Things. It makes seeds. Oh, yeah. It makes seeds. Okay, so I am going to pause the tape right now, and I'm going to give you guys time to work on your worksheets. And I will be here for questions. I'm going to pause this.